If you have not yet tried the Zen browser, I'll let you know it's one underrated open source browser that is packed with lots of features. In this video, I will show you how to install Zen browser and also walk you through the setup process, basic customization options and a few tweaks to enhance your browsing experience. Let's get started. Now to begin the installation, we head on to the official website. I'll be leaving the link in the description. Proceed to this download icon, click on it. And we have three options here for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. I'm using Windows here, so I'm just going to click on this select this one click on download installer i'm gonna wait for it to download proceed to click on this one right here or you can check your download for the .exe file click on next next install now we proceed to launch it click on finish just gonna minimize this click on this arrow icon i'm just gonna skip this just gonna leave it on Google and I'm gonna choose Discord as well and select next. And here you can pick a color, but I'm just gonna skip this one. Next. Now let's dive in. Click on that. Here we have this release node. This is the latest version of it. Now I'm gonna walk you through some basic setup. Now, if you look on the left side here on the bottom left, you're gonna see this gear icon. Just click on it to open the settings. Now under general settings, which is the first one, again, we're asked to make it a default, which I already did. And if you want to make it your default or not, you can choose that. And the second option here says import data. And if you want to import your data, like your bookmarks and all, just click on this and select import. Done. Let's scroll down here a bit. Now under the website appearance, uh, we have these automatic light and dark. Um, this is self-explanatory. We can change the mode right here. Okay. If you want the light or the dark mode, I'm just going to leave it on automatic. And here you have the fonts. You can change to any fonts of your choice. And we have the language here. Okay. We won't be able to cover everything regarding Zen browser in this video, but I'm going to put you through the basics. I'm going to go to the next one right here, which is look and feel. Under this browser layout, we have these three options. The first one, single toolbar, is what we have here. But if you choose the multiple toolbars, you have this one on the top and you have the one on the side here. And if you go for collapsed toolbar, you have this compact toolbars, one on the left and one right on the top. I think I'm just going to go for this one on the side, scroll down and here we have colors. You can click on any of these to choose the color accent that you want. I'm just going to go for this first one. Now proceed here again. We have three options. One to hide tab bar, which is the one on the left. If you want to hide this one on the left, you can choose this. You want to hide this one at the top. You can choose that. If you want to hide both, you can choose this one. As we can see, there is nothing happening even after hiding this. Just go right here to the top bar, right click on it, go to compact mode and enable compact mode. Now the sidebar and the top bar are hidden and they will only appear if you navigate to the location. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it open. Now I'm going to show you how to open a new tab here on the left side, this plus icon. Once you click on it, what we have is this browser. Okay. This is not what we want. I'm going to show you how to fix this. So you go right here to the top bar, type in about colon config, tap on enter. It says proceed with caution, accept risk and continue. Click on that. I'm going to be leaving this in the description for you as well. I'm going to type in zen.url bar dot replace zen dot ur bar replace dash new tab as we can see here it says through now we're going to change this to false by going to this icon and click on it so if we go back again and click on this plus icon now we can see that we have this new tab opening okay and this is what we want so every time you click on this plus icon you're going to get a new tab Right here on the top left, you can see the weather. If you don't want this here, click on this three dots and hide weather on new tab. Now navigate to the gear icon on the right side. Here you can do all sorts of customization on this browser. Okay. For instance, this first one, which says solid color. If you click on this, you can change the color right here, change other colors. All right. So I'm just going to go back here. And if you don't want any of these, just go on to reset to default. Click on that is back to default. 
If you go to abstract, it's about the same thing. Just click on any of these to change the design. Okay. And if you don't want it, go back again and click on reset to default. Same goes to the photographs, right? You have a few options here. I hope they can come up with options that allows you to use your own image and all that. Hopefully that comes pretty soon. So if you go down here, you have shortcuts. If you enable that, here you can see we have these options right here. So this gives you easy access to the most common website that you usually visit. If you want to add any more shortcuts, you can just click on this plus icon and paste the URL, give the name and use a custom image if you need to. And because I'm not doing that, I'm just going to cancel it. Now, if you want to remove any shortcut from here, go to this three dot and click on dismiss. If you want to keep this shortcut, you can click on pin. Okay. Just click on that and the shortcut is going to remain there. Okay. Now we'll go back to this gear icon. If you enable this recent activity, you can see that your recent activities is going to appear at the bottom here. I don't need this one. So I'm just going to toggle it off. I'm just okay with this search bar and this shortcut. And as for the weather, we're just going to leave it the way it is and proceed to the next one. If we look on the left side here, you want to remove any of these tabs, just right click on it and select close tab. I'm going to do it for this. I'm going to do it for that as well. Now I'm going to show you how to create a workspace. If you navigate to this home icon, right click on it. And as you can see here, we have default workspace. Click on these three dots and edit workspace. So I'm just going to give it a name right here. Tech doings save changes now if we proceed to settings proceed to settings now under general settings if we scroll down here a bit under enable container tabs click on the settings here we have four options i'm just going to remove this last two just remove them shopping i'm going to remove shopping this personal one i'm going to edit it by clicking on settings i'm going to change the name to dave i'm just going to leave this color you can change the icon if you want. I'm going to select this one and click on done. Now that this work, I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to change this to tech doings. I'm going to select purple. I'm just going to leave this icon and click on done. Okay. Now if we go back to this home icon, right click on it, go right here to the three dots. On the set default container, we have these two options, which I just created. I'm just going to select tech doings click on that. Now we've created a workspace. One more thing, if you want to open a new tab, you can actually use a shortcut control T to open a new tab. All right. So in this new tab, you can see tech doings right here. And this is our workspace. Now moving on, we're on back to the settings here, which is the interesting part, which is Zen modes. Click on Zen modes. This is where we're going to be adding some modes and click on visit store. Now if you scroll down here, you can see that there are vast majority of options right here and feel free to explore any of these. So if you go back here, I'm going to search for collab tab X button. This one right here, click on it, scroll down a bit, select install theme. After clicking it, it looks like there's nothing happening actually, but if you navigate to the left side here, you can see we now have this icon right here to simply close any of this icon on the normal grounds. You just have to right click on it and you have to close it by closing tab. But now it's much easier to just X on this. But the downside of this is that while using these, there's a chance you might mistakenly close any of this tab. But to solve that, you just have to go right here to this and go to your history and get it back. Okay. Now, if you go back to your settings, you can see this mode we just added. And if you don't want this anymore, you can remove this mode. And just in case you want to temporarily disable it, you can just disable it right here. Now, again, we go to visit store here. We're going to search for now playing indicator. So click on that and install theme. If we go to the settings, we can see it has already been installed. Now if we go to YouTube, while this video is playing, you can see this bar icon beside this YouTube icon. Let's say you're playing any sound either on Spotify or YouTube. This is going to help you indicate where the sound is coming from. So this is 
a very simple mod but it's actually useful so that's gonna be all for now guys i hope you find value in this video if you do don't forget to subscribe to this channel leave this video a like and also share your thoughts at the comment section have a nice day peace out